I've been doing drag technically for only a couple months, but I feel that a drag queen is always living inside of everyone. It started off, I did theater in high school, and I just, I loved it. And once I got to college, I became a nursing major, and for all you nursing majors out there, you know you have no time whatsoever. So I needed something as an outlet to perform again, and I was just like, what can I do to go out there and perform? So one of my friends introduced me to the world of drag, and so every now and then I'll go out there, put on the wigs, the hair, the makeup, and the earrings, and just go out there and make sure that everyone has a good time. The process of getting ready is quite long. Uh, a simple face like I've done today, it's actually a quick face, takes about an hour, hour and a half. Once you get more intricate and more detailed, it can take up to three hours. The process of preparing for a show or an event is really about a week-long event. You want to try and prepare as much as you can, as early as you can, so you're not at the last minute and like, where is everything? Other than that, it's just going over all your songs and making sure everything's down right and just checking and rechecking and making sure you have a good show for the night. It's like playing Russian roulette. Everything, every night's different, but they're all the same. Most of the time, we'll have a roll call where we'll find out, you know, who's in the audience. Do we have gay people, straight people, lesbians, male, female, birthdays, any other parties? In a typical drag show, you're going to have one host who's going to be announcing all the performers and everything, and then all your other drag queens or performers, they'll come out and they'll lip sync to a number and that's your show. Everyone goes, well, how do you know if you're good or if you're not good? And I just say, as long as I can make one person out there smile, then I've done my job. <laughs>